Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, JC and stuff here. Today we're gonna be looking at this uh, 1980 half an ounce Krugerrand. We're gonna be using the same mythology that we've been using throughout the other videos to try to find out if this um, if this coin is in fact uh, real or is it at least made up of real gold. And um, this uh, Krugerrand it's probably one of the most uh, common coins there is in the world since uh, they've been minting these since uh, back in the 1960s, I believe. So uh, a lot of people throughout the world, or at least people that who uh, collect gold bullions, uh, they know about these coins. So to start out, um, I did a little bit of research as far as like what the specs for these coins should be. And uh, we're gonna try to match these uh, specs to our values, to our test values, and try to determine if uh, this, coin, this coin is in fact real or not. And uh, here they are. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, following our previous uh, mythology that we've been using throughout the videos is um, we're gonna take the weight measure the weight on this coin to make sure that it matches our uh, specs as you can see it's about 16.97 grams which uh, it's uh, meets the required weight which is should be about 16.9666 but since this uh, scale is, is uh, does not measure uh, three decimal digits then it doesn't uh, compute the last uh, the last digit. So next we're gonna go ahead and measure our uh, physical dimensions of this coin. As you can see, my uh, digital caliper is already set at zero. So we're gonna go ahead and take the, the diameter of this coin, which is supposed to be at about 27.7 millimeters. And as you can see, it's about 27.03 millimeters, and it's supposed to be at 27.07 again. Again, this coin might have um, fell or something, or somebody maybe dropped it and let a little bit along the edge. It must be like it must have like a little, a few different measurements as you measure it from different angles. But um, the important thing is that it measures around the right diameter, which should be about 27. Yep, 27.04. So now we're gonna go ahead and measure the width at the edge of the coin, which is supposed to be about 2.2. .2 So in this case, this one is about 2.14, fairly close to 2.2. And we can measure again in different parts of the coin, just to make sure that it's somewhat consistent throughout the coin. So this one is about 2.21. Fairly close, I mean, you gotta also keep in mind that these coins have been, um, they're actually circulating, so there are people people mess with them, and they also there's gonna be a few a few uh, discrepancies in the measurements, but it shouldn't be more than 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 and a tenth of a of a millimeter. So this is this coin is well within the range of those measurements. Okay, so now I got my setup here and put this cup of water. And we're gonna measure the water displays by this coin. And the, the way we're gonna do this is, we're simply gonna float the coin inside the water and measure the weight of it. We're gonna measure what how much weight uh, changes here. Or we can also just tear the scale with that weight on top of it. 
and then it goes back to zero and it will give us an exact measurement. Again, make sure that once when you drop the coin inside the water that is not touching any any surfaces within the cup. So there you have it. It's about 0.96 grams of water this place, which uh, in, it translates to 0.96 cubic centimeters. Also remember that um, one cubic centimeter is also one gram of water. Thus, this is what allows me to do this. Okay, so now we're ready to crunch in some numbers and calculate the density of this uh, coin which is supposed to be about six, about, I'm sorry, 17.65 grams per cubic centimeter. So we go ahead and punch in the weight of it, which is 16.97 as we measured it, and then divide that by the volume, which we also measure to be 0.96 cubic centimeters. And that gives us a value fairly close to 17.65. In fact, it came out to be 17.67 um, grams per cubic centimeter. So that's fairly close. So now we're ready to uh, do this uh, ultrasound thickness gauge test on this coin. We're gonna measure this, uh, the thickness uh, to, and then compare it to the actual reading on a caliper from the outside. Again, this ultrasound thickness gauge measures uh, the thickness in the inside using the speed of sound through it, which is about 3,353 meters per second for any alloy of uh, 22 karat gold with copper. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take my probe. I've already calibrated this tool, as a matter of fact. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose any point within the coin. I chose the middle. And then see what readings the tool gives us. So it seems like it's about 1.83 millimeters at the center of the coin. So we're gonna go ahead and take our caliper, make sure that it's set at zero. So now we're gonna measure the center of this, the center of this coin. And it should give us a value of about close to 1.183 1.85 that's fairly close i mean you got to understand that there is some um, some porosity within the coin or some texture so again it's uh, 1.85 compared to 1.83 it's fairly close now we're ready to do our magnetic test this is a neodymium magnet as you can see it just sticks to the other magnets so i want to make sure that this coin is not magnetic and in fact it's not so this is a very powerful magnet so if this was any metal that is metallic and or that is i'm sorry that is um alloy with iron in any way this would actually stick to the magnet so it doesn't now our next test is our next and last test is going to be the sound test and for that, I'm gonna take this same magnet and I'm gonna gently tap the coin. Again, we don't wanna scratch it. We don't wanna cause any damage to it. And we're gonna to listen to the sound of it. This is what it's supposed to sound. This is the ping of the Krugerrand half an ounce. As you may recall, a few videos ago, I had this 50 peso coin, and they are, they also they sound similar, but uh, 
the reason this sounds a little more um, uh, heavier is because this coin is about twice as big or almost three times as big actually so but in in the end it's almost the same alloy this is actually the the mexican centenario is 90 percent gold 10 percent copper and this is fairly close to it too this krugeran is actually 91.666 percent gold and then it's 8.333 percent copper so this is the reason as to why they sound they have a, a similar pitch how the size the ping of it is similar but it's this one is more, more acute obviously because it's a smaller coin so there you have it man so thank you again for watching i hope you guys learned something new i hope you guys uh can uh figure out whether a Krugeran, a half an ounce Krugeran at least, is uh, fake or not based on, on the, the method that I presented in this video. Uh, in my next video, I will be showing how to, um, how to um, tell platinum, how to basically test platinum. And we're gonna do that on a platinum bar. All right, again, thank you for watching and uh, see you next video.